welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Carrie. And if you've been here before, welcome on back. Today we are in the primary bedroom. And some of you probably know if you've been following my channel for a while that we've been in renovation mode since September. And it feels really good that this room, the room that we spend a lot of time in is finished. We've added the finishing touches, we put everything up on the walls and we've really created a space that feels so good to come into at the end of the day and to wake up to in the morning. So I'm really excited to show you guys around this space and really give you guys some tips and tricks that I use to create a space that really helps encourage great sleep. We spend over half our lives in bed, sleeping. Sleep is crucial to be able to take on this life. Knowing that, it's always been really important to me to build a bed that just encourages relaxation and sleep and to create a space entirely that helps you unwind at the end of the day. That is why I am so excited that Bull & Branch is sponsoring today's video. They create product for your bed that lasts a lifetime. And because we do spend over half of our lives in bed, that's really important. Because sleep is something I'm very passionate about, specifically because I know how important it is to our health, I really like to focus on the bed first. Ever since switching over to bowl and branch bedding, one, we've been getting the best sleep of our lives, and two, it just feels like it fits so seamlessly with our lifestyle. This bedding is toxin-free, ethically sourced, it has this cloud-like comfort to it, and it is 100% organic cotton. And the best thing about it is that you can feel really good about where your investment goes, because each purchase helps to support fair, equal wages for every farmer and factory worker. If you are interested in getting a look like mine, these are the products that I ordered. The Signature Sheet Hemmed in Dune, the Signature Hemmed Duvet Set in White, the Waffle Bed Blanket in Natural, and the Sweater Knit Throw. If you are interested in checking out Bull and Branch, I have exclusive extended access to their biggest sale of the year. You can use my code carry 20 to get 20% off of your order and there's no minimum order amount. Just a little side note, they're only shipping to the US and Canada. So that's our bedding. Let's show you the rest of the room. When we first bought this house back in September, this room was completely different. There was no closet, the walls were gray, there were a lot of different posters that were hanging up on the wall at one time, so lots of holes in the walls. So of course we first went in and did a full paint job and um, went in and made sure we plastered everything and we sanded these wood floors. These are native timber floors, they're colored matai. The most important thing that I like to think about is one, like I talked about, cozying up the space, but also how it flows. Because we use the space in the evening when we're getting ready for bed, we use it in the morning when we're getting ready for the day. So I like to think about how flow happens. So we ended up building our own closet here. What we really liked about this room and why we decided to make it the primary room was because it had originally a larger closet here that they had removed and in these farmhouse homes, it's hard to find closet space. We do have closets in all the other rooms, but they're all very small. So we thought, okay, cool. This will be the primary bedroom and we will get a closet. So we actually bought this kit that you see behind me and we actually really like that they're sort of a capsule situation. So this side is Alex's, that side's mine. And what we do is we switch out seasons. So for instance, behind me, the clothes that are hanging up right now are all of our winter stuff. And then as we move into the warmer months here in New Zealand, we'll switch and swap these clothes out into the other closet and then we'll bring all of our summer stuff. So it just makes it so it's streamlined. If you haven't heard of capsule wardrobing, it's really nice. And it just makes it so you can walk up to your closet, you have way less options, you don't have to have all seasons in front of you and you can just pick and choose what you want a bit quicker. We have plans to at one point create a sliding closet door, but right now we kind of like the open space because we have it organized and color coordinated at this time, but maybe eventually we'll have a sliding mirror. But for now, since we don't have that, I thought it would be really nice to do a little mirror moment 
right here next to the closet, of course, because when you pick out your clothes, it's nice to just check out how it looks and walk out of the door. I also like intentional decor, so I like to buy a lot of home decor when we're traveling. So for instance, this piece is from the Cook Islands and it reminds me of that trip every day that I see it. So I like grabbing pieces when I'm traveling a lot of the time. If I can fit it back in my luggage, I like pieces that remind me of an experience that we had. Talking about the flow of a space, especially when you're getting ready in the morning, I love having the jewelry out for me to see when I get dressed, if I wanna switch anything up. I've had these jewelry holders for years. I had them when we lived in Los Angeles. I brought them over, just recently put them up, and it's really nice when you're getting ready to just throw something on right by your clothes. So I thought this was a good space for it here. I also have our ironing board and iron right here so that if I want to grab something to wear, I can just pull that out right here in this space, iron right here, and put it back. Earlier I mentioned the pieces I like to put in a space to help get better sleep, and I've realized that curtains are crucial for this, especially when you wanna sleep in, having blackout curtains are great. Also, these are thermal, they are noise canceling, all things that help me personally get better sleep. The noise cancellation here in the country, it's not really loud here, but if you're in the city, something to consider. I also really love this brass holder here that I have on both sides. I went with brass because a lot of the hardware that almost all of the hardware that we have here in the bedroom is brass. So this just kind of kept with that kind of story around the space. This is my favorite little corner of the bedroom, not just because it's my corner, but I do have, you know, the tools that we need to help unwind us at the end of the night. And I'll get into that right now. But first off, I wanna talk about these nightstands because I really love the rattan look. I just looked up rattan nightstands online. I love that they're, they just feel light and airy and they don't take up a lot of space. I also really love having little things on top of my side of the nightstand like, a pink Himalayan salt crystal that one helps clean the air when it's on and two it helps encourage relaxation with the light um, so in the evening I try not to turn on any of like the pendant lights and I just turn on the pink Himalayan salt lamp because you walk in and it just feels really warm and inviting and a low light situation helps encourage us to unwind at the end of the night. Also the diffuser. When you have the pink Himalayan salt crystal on in the evening and you're diffusing lavender essential oil, <laughs> the vibe in here is immaculate. It is so good. And I also really love having an indoor plant right next to the nightstand and right next to where I'm sleeping at night because indoor plants help purify the air. I love this little bamboo holder that I put on both of our nightstands so they match with my little book inside for evening, which means if I'm reading, I'm gonna need a bedside lamp. This is probably the coolest thing to me <laughs> that we put in this bedroom or maybe anywhere in the house so far. It just feels very intentional. It feels very luxurious to me and that's the title of this video. So this just feels luxury to me and it's pretty simple to do if you have an electrician coming in or anything like that just adding these does wonders because there's no wire it feels like you're at a hotel you just click on and off and the cool thing is this switch right below it controls the main pendant light too so if i want to turn off that main light in the evening from bed when i'm reading i can do that super simply and then we have usb uh, chargers below as well as just normal chargers which I don't really like having my phone in the bedroom I never have before it's more of a recent thing because we have these USB chargers we don't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom really so it's okay and I go into airplane mode so that's my like way around it right now but keeping the phone down below in airplane mode is a great way for me but just having those little bits right by the bed just yeah it's just it feels really nice i really love this rustic mirror i've gotten a couple questions about it but i've had it for a long time and i don't remember from where i've had it since california but i love it right above the nightstand for like in the evening when i just want to throw on some lip moisturizer before bed or anything like that um after 
I do my skincare or while I do my skincare, maybe I'll come in last second and use this mirror and I never really thought about a mirror there, but I really like it. I was really happy with how this decor piece went with this room so much as it all came together because we've had this since back when we lived in California, we had it on the wall there at our old house. And what I really like about this being above the bed because we didn't have anything above our old bed, we just had a window there before, is if you have an earthquake or anything like that, it's really good to have something soft so that if it does fall on our heads when we're sleeping, there's no like shelves above us or anything like that um, that can, you know, any bookshelves or anything like that to fall on our head or anything like that. It's also good that we don't have a window behind our head as we used to because even earthquakes, when you have a window behind your head, the glass can break. So just thinking about safety wise, the way that we positioned the room, that was definitely something that we considered. This is Alex's side of the bed. Not much happening over here. I'm in control of the vibe. So I've got like the lights and the essential oils and stuff like that. He's just got his book. These photographs of our wedding were the finishing touches on this wall. There was nothing happening over here. And I made a TikTok about this recently. I just said, if you have gotten married recently and you paid good money for your photos, put them in frames. And that was for me as well, because it took me far too long to frame these beautiful photos. For the bedroom, I wanted more kind of artsy photos instead of just, you know, some of us standing there with our faces because, I don't know, we're here a lot. We don't need to wake up every morning to like, our faces. <laughs> I just wanted something like flowy and artsy. So these are three of some of my favorite photos from our wedding. And I just kept it with a white frame because everything's like so light and airy in here. So that's, uh, that was like the finishing touch of this room. And it just reminds us that we're in love so that if we ever go to bed at night and we're angry at each other, we can just roll over, look at the photos of how much we love each other and then say, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a thing for things that are cozy. So I really liked putting down this big old rug here to just warm up the space primarily. And then I decided to add this rug here and throw it over to just add more texture and warmth and just that cozy feeling. It's the same kind of vibe with the bed. Like when you're layering different textures, it just feels like there's layers of coziness. And that's how it feels with the rug at the end of the bed too. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that it gave you some tips and tricks for your own bedroom and how to decorate it. And I hope that it gave you some ideas on how to get better sleep at night as well. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you to Bowl & Branch for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.